I love Fiction Kitchen. It's my favorite place to eat in Raleigh. I've never had anything bad. Everything's been fantastic. Oh my gosh. So this is like Comfort Food Central. They have vegan and vegetarian options. Meat eaters come here, and this is a restaurant for everybody. You could probably do a poll in here right now, and I would guess that 30 or 40 percent of the people in here now are omnivores, but just have fallen in love with Caroline's way of presenting food and cooking food and coming up with these dishes that a lot of people are attracted to and enjoy. So I kind of made my own plate with the uh, mock fried chicken and then a side of the sauteed greens and the mashed potatoes and gravy. I was looking for a comfort plate and that's what I got. As I became a vegetarian, I tried to start going out to eat 20 years ago or so. At that time, the only thing I could get when I went out to eat was a salad or steamed vegetables or maybe a portobello mushroom. And I just started playing with cooking because I was determined that that wasn't gonna be all that I was gonna eat. We do a lot of Southern comfort traditional meat dishes that are reinvented in a vegan way. And so some people can't believe that it's not pork or can't believe it's not chicken. So it's like a fictional experience to them. We are also gonna plate the ever popular chicken and waffles. That comes on a waffle that we make every day. And then we take our fried chicken product, we marinate it, and then we dredge it with a combination of secret spices. And then we drop it in the fryer and it's nice and crisp on the outside. We steep a little agave with some mint and that gets drizzled on top just to bring that freshness out. We're gonna show you the fried oyster mushrooms. We wanted to mimic a coastal feel with this. So it comes with a couple lemon wedges. It's really fresh, it's light, and the cornmeal is from a local company. And the mushrooms are actually local oyster mushrooms. Reflecting our local food revolution concept, that does carry over to our bar program. We have six draft beers, always devoted to local North Carolina beers. North Carolina is not really known for its wineries, so we do outsource wines, but we do try to stick with small wineries that are organic, sustainable, biodynamic. In addition to that, North Carolina has also experienced a real boom in the distilling industry. So we've got local vodkas, rum, gin, and even locally made bitters. We really wanted to have a spot that reflects our personality. We're both kind of edgy, funky, artsy sort of people. I've done a lot of the artwork in here myself, picked out the color scheme and that kind of thing. I'm a collage artist as well as a painter, so I also had some fun decorating the top of the bar. It's got to be very challenging to come up with these non-traditional plates that are works of art in and of themselves and that also appeal to restaurant goers of all types. We've been mostly vegan for 10 years. We've eaten at vegan restaurants up and down the East Coast and out West, and this is as good as there is that we found. There are quite a few dishes here that I think mimic very much an omnivore kind of diet, and one is in their barbecue. This is the Eastern style North Carolina pork that has become extremely popular. We actually use a product called Delight Soy that's from a company out of Morrisville. We smoke the nuggets with a blend of wood chips. It gets kind of like a crust on it, changes color, has a nice little sheen. We take it and pull it apart, shred it. And then we put our Eastern style North Carolina barbecue sauce on that, which is a base of apple cider vinegar, garlic, crushed red peppers, and black pepper. A little bit of brown sugar to bring that up. The barbecue is so good here that you had this big old good old boy coming up and asking Caroline where they source the pig. That's how good the barbecue is here. It's, everything is always just fresh and delicious and sourced locally and you can taste that. And There's a lot of care and talent that goes into every dish and you can taste that as well. And Caroline and, and Siobhan are fantastic people. They're just really warm and welcoming. If you just want a really good meal that's sourced from local produce, this is the place that you should come first. Once you come and you give it a try, I'm pretty sure you'll be back. The Fiction Kitchen is at 428 South Dawson Street in Raleigh, and they're open for dinner Tuesday through Saturday at 430, and they also serve Sunday brunch beginning at 1130. For more information, you can call them at 919-831-4177 or go online to thefictionkitchen.com.